What if I told you that there was one specific running accomplishment that was so difficult to attain that it didn't happen once over the span of 34 years? This is a long time. In fact, this is longer than most of you watching right now have even been alive. At least that's what YouTube analytics tells me. For more than a generation of talented athletes to compete in track and field, one specific time stood unrelenting to those who collectively attacked it. And this wasn't for lack of trying, because even against some of the greatest runners to ever lace up, it stood unchallenged for what seemed like forever. Now, there are still a few world records that have so far stood the test of time, and for these individual accomplishments, no matter how controversial they might be, they've now stood for well over three decades. But what makes this one accomplishment so unique is that from 1964 through 1967, three athletes managed to achieve this time, and of course, this achievement is the high school sub four minute mile. For these three years, Jim Ryan, Tim Danielson, and Marty LaCory all made history by breaking four minutes for the high school mile. Now, to do this at any point in your life showcases supreme fitness and speed, as to this day, less than 2,000 athletes have ever achieved this. But to do it as a teenager showcases a special type of talent that very few people ever possess. It's interesting just how long this time barrier went unbroken. But then, after 34 long years, Alan Webb made his presence known, and with a stunning performance of 3 minutes 53.43 seconds in the 2001 Pre-Classic, he managed to break Jim Ryan's national record, and he pretty much immediately became a legend. Now, he did go on to break the American record in the mile. However, this high school four-minute mile was so influential that it might be equally as impressive in retrospect. After this 353, the high school mile was still nearly unachievable. In fact, for the next 10 years following this performance, not a single runner managed to break this. Not even one runner managed to go under four. However, starting in 2011, we saw a significant uptick in sub four minute runners. In 2011, we saw Lucas Verzbikas run a 359. In 2015, we saw Matthew Matan run a 359 as well. And then also in 2015, we saw Grant Fisher achieve the exact same time in 3 minutes 59.38 seconds. This four year span brought forth three brand new sub four minute clockings, which considering that nobody had done this in over three decades was certainly atypical. However, I don't think that anyone at the time knew just how significant the following few years would truly be. From 2016 through 2021, we saw five additional runners break four, with Drew Hunter, Michael Slagowski, Reed Brown, Leo Dashbaugh, and Hobbs Kessler all running extremely fast times to break the four minute mile. This amazing stretch of running included not one, but two new national records, as Drew Hunter and Hobbs Kessler actually managed to break the previous national record for the indoor mile, both running under 3 minutes and 58 seconds for their performances. From 1964 through 2021, there were a total of 12 athletes who broke four for the high school mile. And speaking from a statistical standpoint, this is the equivalent to one sub four minute clocking every 4.75 years. So the odds were that 2022 probably would not include another three minute and 59 second athlete. But uh, that is definitely not what happened. With the single most influential mile season in high school athletics history, 2022 saw a total of five new runners go under four. And these athletes included Colin Salmon, Gary Martin, Connor Burns, Reinhardt Harrison, and Simeon Birnbaum. At face value, these five athletes already made history as this was the single highest total of runners to break four in a single season. However, if we look just beyond the strict numbers, even more history was made this season. On May 14th, we saw something quite special from Gary Martin, who ran a solo 357 mile against a high school only field, which actually broke the record for the fastest high school mile against a high school only field. And this record was set by none other than Jim Ryan all the way back in 1965. This was a huge performance for Gary Martin, who actually went on to break four again on June 2nd, but also setting a new standard of greatness last season were both Connor Burns and Simeon Birnbaum, who broke the four minute barrier as high school juniors. And the last person to do this? Well, that was also Jim Ryan, all the way back in 1964. 
It's easy to see why 2022 was considered as one of the most exciting years in high school distance history, as records were broken in many races throughout the entire year. But 2023 is already looking even crazier, and that's because Simeon Birnbaum and Connor Burns are currently scheduled to race in the mile together this Saturday. This will actually be the first time in history that two high school sub four minute milers are squaring off in a high school only race, so expect to see an amazing showdown between these two. However, also joining in this race is a stacked field that is almost guaranteed to bring fireworks. Here is the current lineup for the 2023 New Balance Indoor Grand Prix Junior Boys International High School Mile. Boy, that is a mouthful. Along with Birnbaum and Burns, we have a field that includes last year's Nike Cross Champion and 4 minute and 1 second miler, Aaron Salmon. We have the 2022 Foot Locker Champion and 2023 World Junior Cross Country Qualifier, Cole Matheson. And filling out for our international field, we have Corey Campbell from Great Britain, Cronin from Ireland, McFadden from Ireland, Isaac Rothwell from Great Britain, and Kristen Green, also hailing from Great Britain. This is a huge amount of talent all gathering together to compete in this same event. But given that no pace setters will be present for this performance, a sub four minute mile very well could not take place. And in my opinion, I very much doubt that it will. Now I would love to see nothing more than various athletes to break four minutes in this very race. And I do think that many of them are in shape to do it right now. However, given that it is still early February and that no pacers will be present, a speedy time will probably not be the priority over tactical racing. Now for me personally, I am pumped to see the potential tactics and strategies unfold, and they very well could result in an upset over many of the favorites here. And speaking of the favorites, for many the obvious front runners for the win include Simeon Birnbaum, Connor Burns, and Aaron Salmon. But from what I've seen over the previous 12 months, I think Aaron Salmon has a very real chance to pull out the victory, because given his 800 meter PR of 148 and his unbelievable sprinting abilities that he showcased last year at NXN, I think he is the prime candidate to benefit from a potential tactical race. It's already historic enough to see two high school runners that have already broken four in the same high school field, but it's another thing to imagine two high schoolers breaking four in the exact same race, and I think that is where 2023 is currently headed. With all of the massive talent currently exploding in the high school scene, it would not surprise me at all if two athletes were to break four in the same event this year, which, again, is something that has never happened in the high school scene. Now, this race is already looking pretty crazy, and the prospect of various athletes breaking four is likely to occur in 2023. However, there is one more thing that I would like to talk about, and that's the fact that Newberry Park very well could have three individual performers to break four in 2023. I would not be surprised at all if Lex Young, Leo Young, and Aaron Salmon all three broke four in 2023, which would only further solidify Newberry Park as the greatest high school team in distance running history. This is just madness. And now I want to hear from all of you. Who do you think will be the winner in this weekend's mile race? And what time do you think that they will run? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.